Well, it's another beautiful morning. There's the sunrise. And uh, 6.37. Customer is pulling the apron out for me. And then we've got a little issue inside to go take a look at after the apron gets pulled. see this side where the apron mounts and the ball trunnion ball fits on there well it's what it's supposed to look like so basically this entire center piece got ripped out so this is like the call it a forged piece that's welded in there this is the inside wall and there's a little bit of a weld like a plug weld type deal on the outside you have to lift the can all the way up you can reach just over the draft arm to weld that so we're going to be reusing this piece. They're going to be putting new uh, trunnion balls on here and new caps. They had to cut one of the bolts to get it out. So we're going to get all this cleaned up. So to me, this looks all factory. That looks like a factory weld going to the outside. And these look like factory welds on the inside. So when you assemble, when they assemble that wall, they are able to weld both sides of this. And then when they put it together, there's a small hole um, that I can't show you yet, but there's a small hole over there and then they weld the, the outside. So what happened is there's a weld there, right there, that somebody did before. Looks like just right there. So this is probably set, yeah, because that's up, that little notch went up. So that's down, the dirt comes up right here and just kind of wears that away. So, gonna just kind of sand this down and get it to fit back in there 
All right, we got our trunnion insert prepped out. Got it beveled. There's probably gonna be a gap too, a little small gap. So now we're gonna clean this up. And the only way you can get to this hole on the back side here is through the inside. So we're gonna, as far as cleaning it, so I'm gonna use a die grinder. I'm gonna clean that up. And then after we get this side um, welded in, we'll lift the can up and weld that weld up from the outside. So I'm just gonna sand all these welds off. I'm going to attempt to hit this. It's kind of bowed out a little bit. I'm gonna attempt to hit that with a hammer and push that in. There are multiple ways to fix this. What I've done in the past, when I have more time, this is a uh, 911 emergency job. They're trying to run it here in about an hour. I've cut a huge section out and everything is bent, replace that whole piece, put it all back, tie it all in with backing plates. But that takes, you know, five, six, seven hours or so to do something like that. This is an emergency job. So it's one of those things, just make it the best that you can. So that's what we're doing. Get this cleaned up. camera <laughs> oh yeah is, is this for like tiktok or something youtube oh youtube oh okay yeah you can be worldwide famous hell yeah dude <laughs> <laughs> shit yeah man as close as she's gonna get for right now. Well, I'm sure they'll run it for a long ass time until it breaks again. 
So basically that's beveled, that's beveled, and th that crack is just a super thin edge. I'm gonna weld this, and that root is just gonna tie in together pretty good. And then we're gonna um, you know, build all the way up. I'm gonna put extra weld. We did talk about putting like a quarter inch plate around this for wear and whatnot, but I don't think there's room and I think they're gonna have trouble putting the apron on. So I'm just gonna run some weld beads on there to help with that. See the keyhole right there? passes clean it up put uh, probably two more two or three more All right, he's gonna fire it up. He's gonna lift up the can and a hole should appear right here. Hey, there it is. Now we just weld that sucker up and we'll be done. Well, those hydraulics leak down pretty quick. Got some, a little bit of uphill MIG on there. All right, this project is done. So after looking at this side, I didn't really notice it because of all the dirt. This is the side where I put the plate in there and I cut it out and reinforced it. So we'll clean off the wire wheel, just double check, make sure everything looks good there. And then you can see what, if given more time, this, this is the type of repair that I would have done. So you can see, see how I did that one a while back. I, I think I've done that like four times maybe for this customer. And then the weld can sit further in so it's less likely to get wore out. Well, there you go. For this repair, I used my Miller Multimatic 220 AC-DC, 24 volts, and I don't remember the wire speed, a little less than 400 inches per minute. 035 wire, 0 0.035 of an inch wire. Um, ER70S6, 7525 on the gas, 75% argon, 25% CO2. I use that gas for lots, a lot of my welding. So that's what we used. 
and that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.